United States, a traffic fatality occurs about every 15 minutes, over 37,000 deaths in 2017, and more than 40,000 traffic fatalities are estimated for 2018. The research shows that 28% of those fatal crashes occur in a horizontal curve, over 90% of which will be single vehicle roadway departures, just run off the road crashes. In fact, the average crash rate for horizontal curves is about three times higher than other types of highway segments and is the number one crash category of fatalities. Over the past 10 years, these statistics have remained about the same. What can be done to reduce roadway departures in horizontal curves? One of the most effective and least expensive countermeasures to improve safety and reduce fatalities is proper signage and striping. In 2018, the National Cooperative Highway Research Program, NCHRP, published practices for preventing roadway departures. This synthesis identified 20 effective countermeasures to improve safety at curves and reduce fatalities. In another recent study conducted at Pennsylvania State University found that the least expensive of these countermeasures was proper signage and striping with measurable improvements as high as 44% reduction in crashes. Signage requirements are established by the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices or MUTCD. The 2009 MUTCD includes new criteria for horizontal alignment signage with a compliance date of December 2019. These new rules apply to all of our roadways functionally classified as arterials or collectors with traffic volumes of a thousand vehicles per day or more. Here in Alabama, counties have extra assistance in determining their signage needs. The Alabama Department of Transportation, or ALDOT, recognizing the safety benefits of proper signage, provides access to the Riker Curve Advisory Reporting Service, or CARS, for all Alabama counties. The CARS technology is safer, faster, and more accurate than traditional digital ball bank indicators. CARS surveys the entire roadway, including all curves. To get a refresher on how to use CARS, join Pike County's John Bergschneider and Lee County's Ken McConnell as they review how to use CARS. If you are a first-time user, you will need to register an account and establish login and password information. To begin using CARS, Especially if you haven't used the system recently, your tablet will likely need an update. Turn on your tablet and the update process will begin automatically. All that is needed is internet connectivity. In our case, the system was up to date and Ken and John can proceed to collecting the field data. Once in the vehicle, the electronic ball bank indicator is mounted on the dash and the tablet is placed securely in the holder. Connections are made between the ball bank indicator and the tablet as well as with the antenna mounted on the vehicle. Power sources are connected. Once we have our system connected, we power up the tablet. Next, we need to level the car sensor to the vehicle. Leveling the unit to your vehicle is very important. There are a few ways to do this, but the most convenient is to find a level spot for the test. Place the sensor on the dash and the location where the sensor reads zero. Another important step is to validate the calibration of the sensor. To do this, you need to mount the calibration tool on the driver's side window approximately level. On the tablet, select the safe speeds icon. Select the administration option Select the Calibration tab. You are now ready to begin the calibration process. Follow the steps on the tablet to calibrate the device. The on-screen instructions will explain how to detach your ball bank indicator and use the window calibration tool. Once mounted on the window tool, you will twist left and record, then twist right and record. 
The test is verifying that the sensor range is accurate up to 20 degrees of inclination. After you have your calibration records, you select OK on the tablet and the results will be recorded as part of the report. Now, we are ready to evaluate a roadway segment. Remember to remove the calibration plate from the window before operating the vehicle. Once we arrive at our roadway segment, we press record and begin our data collection. Best practice recommends that each roadway segment be evaluated with two passes in each direction. Drive at slower speeds to collect more data. In our demonstration, we traveled the segment at 25 miles per hour. It is important to maintain consistent speed while evaluating the roadway. In other words, drive slowly and smoothly. Avoid braking in the curve or changing speed or oversteering. Remember to analyze the entire curve. At the end of the roadway segment, press stop on the tablet. Back at the highway department, we exit the program, turn off the system, and detach the tablet. In the office with internet connectivity, we turn the tablet on and the data upload begins automatically. Our data is accessed by logging on to our account at www.rikersolutions.com. We need our username and password. The data for the roadway analyzed will be available for use. You may select the boundaries of any curve by dropping pins at the beginning and end of the segment. In addition to providing all relevant data about the selected segment, the system will generate designs for proper sign placement if signage is recommended or required. Reports can be saved as PDF files or printed if you would like a hard copy. The PDF reports can be configured using the options under the settings menu selection. All the data can also be bulk exported under the Bulk Data Export tab. If you would like more information about reducing roadway departures, visit FHWA's website.